9 o'clock show is brought to you by the Vibe Hotel in Rushcutters Bay. When in Sydney, play and stay at the Vibe Hotel. And Sophia, welcome to the yeah. couch. Thank Richard, you. Sophia, Sophia, Richard. Hello. Hello. Have we Hello. met before? No. No, we haven't. And I've read about you. No, I've watched you for many, many years. You know, I get that with like people coming up to me as I grew up watching you, and no, I'm like, really? do you mean no, to make me really? feel old? I'm so yeah. like star. I'm sweating. <laughs> no, really. Like I just, I love you. I love everything you do. I just love. Your she pay oh, yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the nice. Show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, genuinely yeah, yeah. starstruck. I'm like genuinely, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Oh well, yeah. After a few minutes, you'll be like, yeah. what yeah, was I the thinking? feeling's mutual, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you, are. you are much prettier you are. in person. I know. I get that a lot. <laughs> I know. Yeah. TV well, doesn't do you better justice. Better than catfishing people, right? Yeah. I actually live up to my profile pic. Exactly. You know what I mean? Oh. Normally, I'm underwhelming in other ways, but I actually look as good. If not better. If person. not better. Yeah. Well, isn't that the most important thing? Exactly. Right. Hi. Hello. Am I here? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Richard, I'm really glad you've uh, come back to the show this week because we um, want to chat. Uma yeah. Thurman is pissed. Oh, yeah. And um, rightfully so. I've read um, the article that was in the New York Times this week about her um, being sexually assaulted by Weinstein, but also the Tarantino, Kill Bill, and the whole... She feels she was trying to be um, struck off by the car accident that happened on Kill Bill. Yeah. yeah. What's your take on, on well, all of this you Me know, Too and it's uh, time and oh my God, time's up? So and much, so much. We're not wearing black. Oh, I'm wearing black today, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, just to catch people up, it's that uh, Kill Bill and Kill Bill 2 and even Pulp Fiction, they were all mm. produced by Harvey Weinstein. So he did have a hand in kind of shaping Uma Thurman's career, as mm. did Quentin Tarantino, the director. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, Uma uh, alleges that she was called up to Harvey Weinstein's uh, hotel suite not once but twice and the second time he actually uh, attacked her and she barely got away mm -hmm. uh, and not even with her dignity intact and then mm -hmm. she said that she told Quentin Tarantino then there was bad blood between Harvey Quentin and her and then she says that Quentin Tarantino made her drive in a car that wasn't safe and she got in an accident mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so the Harvey Weinstein thing um, yeah, I'm so glad she's spoken up because, gosh, Terrific. it's just gone on way too mm. long. Have you ever had an instance where unwanted advances by someone who in a position of power? Um, not necessarily in a position of power, but I think in everyday life, absolutely. You know, I, I get called, you know, things like prick teaser or frigid because I don't give everything on the first night. And I kind of feel that it's great to hear stories like Uma and, you know, Rose McGowan because... If it's difficult for them to talk about, imagine what it's like for me as an ordinary person that's not in a position of, you know, mm. um, fame or fortune. You mm. know, so I kind of feel like the good thing is she's sort of shedding light onto the whole Me Too campaign because it sort of is relevant to that. Um, but I, I do feel that there is sort of a culture where you know we are, we don't even own our bodies. You mm. know, and I feel that's kind of what I take from that. And I kind of feel that if if she encourages more people to speak out, mm. well. It's, it's mm. a good thing. Richard, in your career over, you know, in, in the entertainment mm -hmm. industry and on media, have you ever been assaulted? Uh, no, I, no. No? <laughs> I'm, I wish, <laughs> no. No, no, I don't even have to do that. I'm so joking. No, yeah. no, but yeah. believe me, I've mm. been called lots of yeah. names uh, mm. to my face yeah. from people, yeah. um, derogatory remarks, and of course, the internet, mm -hmm. any kind of social media yeah. is just rife with yeah. people saying such mean things, yeah. mm. horrible things. Mm. I remember when uh, I just started coming to Australia and I got a really vicious email. And I was like, Richard Wilkins, who I used to work with, mm. look at this. And he's like, mate, come to this window. And he looked at the window and he goes, see those, look over there. And I'm like, yeah. And he mm. goes, those people over there, 
they love you. Look over there. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, those people over there, they hate you. And I was like, okay. And he goes, look right in the middle. See all that? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, yeah. those people don't give a shit about you. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I'll just look this way. Yeah. yeah you know? Yeah. So you really, if yeah. you believe the good, mm. you have to believe yeah. the bad. So I just choose not to believe But anything. I mean, again, when people were, you know, criticizing me or yelling at me in the street, I was getting called slut. I was mm. getting called, oh, that's, you're that crazy bitch from MKR or wow. things that were um, different in the sense where it was about me, my sexuality and maybe my gender. It wasn't mm. stuff like, oh, we hate you or we don't like you. Mm. It was always something Did you very ever have any race comments? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. hundred percent. And mm. I think after the first week, I just stopped reading anything. Because I literally... you, you did cough a lot when you yeah, were on MKR. Yeah, a hundred percent. And, mm. you know, it's the highest rating show on national TV. And, you know, people feel that you're not human, mm. you know, and they feel like they know you because they watch you in their living rooms every night. And they're like, oh, but, you know, that's who she is. And yep. it's like, no, like mm. it's, 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 it's a competition. Mm. It's a different arena. But yeah, it's interesting to note that the, 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 the things that people were yelling at me were of that nature, as mm. opposed to we don't like you or your work. It was like your you know, yeah. yeah, yeah, wow, very interesting. The other thing too this week, which we haven't, you know, disclosed through our notes, but Craig McLaughlin's come out swinging after all of his ac accusations of sexual harassment, and he's now coming back, going, well, you know, it's all a lie, and I'm now going to be suing Fairfax Media, and I'm going to be suing, you know, Christy Brown, or you know, like, do you, have you met Craig? Do you see yeah, I, what I have met are him once, and I did see him when he was in the Rocky Horror mm. right, yeah. um, picture show, and you know, it was a very uh, over the top, um, hyper sexualized mm. character, and I think a lot of the comments are coming from when he was in that show. Yeah. Um, where he was frisky behind stage and acting mm. inappropriately, according to people who say it. Um, it's a tough one. Yeah. It's a tough one. It can be, you know, he said, she, she said, said, he said, he said, you know, and it's always like the, the jury's out until yeah. someone is proven guilty. Yeah. If someone can come and really prove these charges. Mm. And if he honestly feels as if he's gotten a, a wrong you know, been wrongly accused, yeah. it's it's his right to mm. come out and, and defend well, you've potentially, himself. You've potentially destroyed a person's career. Absolutely. Mm. And, you know, I think that there has to be, there's different levels. Mm. There's different levels. If you're on a date and the date doesn't really go well and the mm. guy's like, oh, come on, give me a kiss or whatever. And the girl's like, no, 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 that's not sexual, sexual harassment. Yeah. Mm. That's a date gone bad. Yeah. Who yeah. hasn't been on those? Mm. You know, so there's different levels. And mm. so I really think that all of us need to be careful when yeah. we make accusations. Mm. Yeah, mm. I think so. And it kind of just um, shows that, you know, men are victims of sexual assault and harassment as well. You yeah. know, and it's, 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 it's almost on equal footing. But mm. I think, you know, it, it does bring that into the forefront in the mainstream. And again, mm. it's a good thing. Speaking about dates going wrong. <laughs> Did you have a bad date? <laughs> how, how long have you got? Yeah, really? How long have you got? Let me. How many bottles do we have to? Yeah, right. <laughs> so Channel Nine Tuesday, this Tuesday coming thirteenth uh, of um, Feb, is yeah. bringing out a brand new TV show called Date Night. So I'm just going to read you oh. what this is about. Is this a new? Is, brand have new. Have they been running commercials? They've stuff? been running commercials, but it comes out Tuesday. Okay. So all around Australia, singles are looking for love online, whether it's Tinder, Bumble, RSVP, or the Date Night app. Finding Mr. or Ms. Right or Right Now is just a click away. Date Night follows a bunch of singles from the comfort of their lounge rooms using only a dating app and the wise counsel of their mates and family. It's swipe left for no or swipe right for yes. And with a little luck, you might just find your match. Hmm. Okay. What are we thinking about hmm. date night? This one would be a great one for you, Sophia. Yeah. First of all, my friends aren't wise. They're enablers. <laughs> they <laughs> egg me on to do terrible things that I regret for years to come. But you know what? I think Tinder, I'm actually happy this is real and it's actually on air mm. because it will expose mm. how horrendous it is. I so think Richard horrendous. and I have seen the first episode yeah. and it's like goggle box yeah. for Tinder. That's so what it's like. Mm. It's real mm. time. So mm. are they literally swiping yeah. real? Mm. It's yep. not, mm. you know what? <laughs> I would love, and it's happened to me when mm. I was newly like new onto Tinder, like it was amazing how many people think that a dick pic is appropriate for a profile pic. Oh, really? No yeah. way. Really? On Tinder, they yeah. do not have But I that. had set my radius from like here to like Darwin. So <laughs> I was in Tinder. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> I was getting, you know. All over Australia. Real sorts, yeah. Mm. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's where the dating 
that's what the dating landscape is now. It's changed. It's not for me, but I, I love hearing other people's mm. horror stories. Yeah, I'm I'm of a camp with, with dating with dating yeah. shows. I yeah. think that The Bachelor and The Bachelorette love them or hate them, they're kind of classy, mm, yeah. you know, but then when you get down to uh, Married at First Sight, I yeah. think it's just a bunch of grubbers who, yeah. who would want to go out with any of those people. You know, uh, it's just hard to say. That's just not my kind of dating okay. show, and I think, you know, good for you. Mm. Good for you, but it's not the kind of thing I personally like. But why isn't it, why isn't there a show about, like, the brokenhearted or, like, the damaged? Well, there's people. A, another new line. You're looking, <laughs> no, no, I'm like, well, what could it be? Do you know what I mean? Or like the lot, like, I kind of feel like there's two sides and I kind of feel like maybe there should be one about the bad dates because there's more bad dates than good ones. That's really? a good concept for a show. What, what, what? Yeah, the bad, there's more bad oh, dates. Oh, yeah. Than, I think yeah. a good concept for a show is where you, I always thought this and please do not steal this idea. <laughs> yeah. It's like, tell me why. Okay, so you're finally get to meet that person who kind of ghosted you or yeah. dumped and you're like, Tell me why, motherfucker. <laughs> what happened? You know what I mean? Don't it's you want to know? True. It's true. Have you we ever been ghosted? ghosted. Or, yeah, ghosted. ghosted. What's ghosted? Oh, well, you, you are so married. I, I love it. <laughs> it's like where you've been talking to someone on Twitter, or yeah. a dating app, or even just a friend, and all of a sudden, yeah. boom, they vanish, exactly. they block you, and oh, you have yeah. no way of knowing what yeah. happened. Yeah. Right. I've actually had ghosted. that happen. Yeah. I've had that happen to me after dating the person for three months. I was oh, ghosted. For three yeah. months? Yeah. yeah. Like full on. I and know. there's a slow, slow burn ghost where mm. it's like, you know how they used to reply to your text every day, yeah. then every other day, then yeah. every five days. Every every kind of day. Exactly. And they stop calling you like baby or boo or sexy. It's just like, hi. Hi. It's and funny. instead of thanks, it's like, K. Mm -hmm. Don't K me. Yeah. Don't you dare K me. How you me. doing? Well, fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know. We got you it. Know. We got it going on. There is a show though, another one on Channel Nine. I think yeah. it's Channel where it is. You could go and spend a night with your ex, and I think it's called really? like one, one. I can't remember the name. Of it. One. One night in hell. No, one night with your that ex. Or something. Like but it. you can yeah. go back to where and spend that last time with your ex and find out these things like what wow. went wrong. That's yeah. a nine show. Ooh. Another nine show. Wow. Can we do the pilot? It's on at nine o'clock at night. So huh? that's not um, dating naked, is it? <laughs> no. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is there an actual show called yeah. Dating? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I live under a and dating like naked activities a, and stuff. Yeah, and there's another like one where they're in. Like, and you're totally nude. 100%. Is it? Like How not, many horses are like in a bedroom? Not even like a little like cloth. Like it's a like proper like, like, yeah. like. How can your horse ride nude? Like. Well, no, they're in a room. Is it the one where they're in a room and they just don't have clothes on? Or is there that island where they no, go and they're they nude? No, they actually walk. Okay, we're talking about two different things. Okay, which one are you talking about? The one when they're on like. They're proper naked. And on it was the on, island. It was on like late night. On the island. Yeah, on the island. And they did like bun. You know what I mean? They did actual like. Yeah, yeah. they're naked. They're 100% naked. Right. Like then paddle, there's another like one where they go boarding. into a room and they have a whole date, but they're like in bed in already. In bed, yeah. Oh, good Lord. How horrendous, Stop. right? <laughs> Clearly, oh, you're watching. Live under a rock. I don't know. I'm, I'm watching Friday Night Lights, which was like 10 years ago. Yeah. I haven't caught I up yet. You're the box set of <laughs> Pack to the Rafters. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, um, Meghan Markle's family have come out this week swinging again. Um, they, they can't seem to leave her alone. This time it's that she's not supporting the family financially. Dad's gone bankrupt, living in Mexico yeah. with mm. a couple of hundred bucks in his pocket and the stepsisters come out going, well, you know, you need to support the family. I, this is something that I, I don't agree with. I think that if he's... Not, <laughs> Richard, yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard knows me, so he probably knows, oh, she's a hard ass. Um, he's got himself into that situation. Yeah. Right. Why is it Megan's... Why is it her... Um, I don't know, duty, what, duty to, to pay her father or to give her father money or her sister or a brother money because they can't support themselves financially. Hmm. Do you agree? Should she be putting her hand in her pocket and giving it to her family and friends after she's worked hard to get to where she is? You know, it's it's a fine line. Uh, there are two issues I see here. Yeah. Is one is, should she? Well, no, she shouldn't do anything she doesn't want to do. But the bigger issue, I think, it's not her half sister's place mm. to air that laundry and to go into public and say ah that megan she's cheap and she won't support our sick uh dad she won't give me any money mm. i'm sick and by the way i've written a book does anyone want to publish it I yeah 
Mm. That is the grubby part. Mm. Whether or not, you know, who knows what her relationship mm. with her parents is mm. like. I believe Harry has maybe met the father or something. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I think he's coming to the wedding. They said this week yeah. he's coming over for the wedding. Yeah, but I... I it's yeah. hard to say. And were, she was going about, you know, this. Oh, she wore this seventy-five thousand dollars dress. And I was having a conversation with a girlfriend um, the other day, and she said she probably didn't even get. It's she a probably loan. didn't. Yeah, it's a she loan. didn't pay the dress. Yeah, they obviously yeah. gifted it to yeah. her to wear on this thing. It's worth seventy-five, but she didn't pay seventy-five. But even when she was on that TV show, was it Suits? Suits? Is yeah. that the yeah. show? She was probably making pretty good coin. And yeah. was she giving her dad any money then? Maybe. You know, who well, knows what happened in the family? family. There's who two knows? sides to a story. Yeah. And how do we know that she hasn't been giving her? Family money. We don't know yeah. that. But then how do you know that the father and the brother and who else? Like, I think the brother's an alcoholic. An yeah. alcoholic, yeah. You know, why would you give him money? Why exactly. would you enable that behavior? Exactly. And go, well, here's some more money to go and get drunk with and gamble exactly. at, the, at the casino. And I'm sure she made money selling her story, mm. you know? Yeah. And she's just going, this is just my opinion. I've got to speak my truth. Well, okay. <laughs> um, guys, do you want to play a little game? Please. You've both sure. been on the show before. You know yeah. how it works. Yeah. Never have mm. I ever. Oh. Okay. Have you played that with you before, Richard? Yes. I. Okay. So if yes, I yes, have, yes. I'll s okay. You okay, have. if we have done these things, we say I, I have. have. Okay. If I you haven't, I yeah. have never. It's kind of complicated. Yeah, you need a drink for this one. So <laughs> yeah. And if you've got stories that go along with it, we do like to like okay. that too. And All there's right. no lying on never have I ever. We always tell Oh, no lying? Time. Yeah. No. Richard. Okay. Know oh, all about your skeletons. All right. no. <laughs> okay, here we go. Never have I ever made out with a stranger. Oh. Oh. I've oh. never. What? No. A stranger? Never. You've never gone out to a club, never. had one too I many, not. and tashed a stranger. Never. What? Do you know what? what? Okay. Do you know what? Guys never came up to me in the pubs. I was like, well, what about all when my you girlfriends were, were getting hit did on Did you go for me. clubbing? Or did you go like just to pub sessions? Did not you actually clubbing, go? like to clubs yeah, and yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that's not. Well, I, what did I do? I was at a club one night. Is this like recent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when was I, this? I was doing it. <laughs> had a couple of rosés, because I'm classy like that. Yeah. Because, you know, um, then I just got a little bit rowdy, but when one thing led to another. So I ended up getting kicked out of the club, but I actually kissed the security guard that was kicking me out. Like tongue? Yeah. For wow. Like, like a and he set. liked it? Yeah, he was into it. Oh, good so Lord. he's like, you know what, you're you're done. Like, get an Uber. I was like, yeah, fine. So I called an Uber, and then I ended up patching my Uber driver. Oh, <laughs> oh you were on a roll. So, yeah, I like this. I like this story. It's safe to say I have. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Never have I ever regifted a gift I was given. I have never. No, I have. Ever. But that would have been the perfume again. Ever. No, 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 no. What I, I have never. That. Well, you really? are so classy. I've got a whole oh, regifting cupboard. See, I regift. <laughs> see, I remember when everyone was giving candles. Yeah. Oh. I don't like candles. I've told you this yeah, the other yeah, day. Yeah. I don't like candles. So someone gives me a candle, I'm like, oh. Like a particular thanks. scent? And then, uh, no, you just, just say, any scent. You don't like the. No, he's, afraid, he's afraid his apartment's going to catch fire. <laughs> I'm afraid my apartment's going to okay, catch so on fire, like that I'll fall asleep, and then yeah. somehow, yeah. you know and uh, a rat will go through yeah. it and I, I don't know what but so i always try to give those away and yeah, i might okay. have one or two in case the electricity goes out but other than that <sighs> so don't spend money on a candle okay. for okay. me all right just give me cash okay i will yeah okay or a um plunger Coffee do you know what plunger. i was actually yeah. dead. i was actually and this is why i don't like it so i had christmas obviously christmas was a couple months ago so mm. my oh, i shouldn't really say who it is i'll keep her anonymous um is she standing over there <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, the, the, the hostess, and she's got a four-year-old daughter, um, and, you know, she said, oh, here's your present, Sophia, and then I opened it, and it was like, you know, a teapot and, you know, a teacup, and I was like, oh, that's fantastic, I love that, and her daughter said, mommy, that was the teapot your client gave you. Oh, <laughs> oh busted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not good. Nice. So, yeah. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping in a hotel pool? Mm, no. I've never. In a hotel pool? Mm, you? No. Really? No, no, no. 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 I do no. in a public pool. Yeah, oh yeah, in, yeah. in the ocean. Yeah, no, oh, really? like a public, like, oh, public Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, it was at night though. Did you sneak in? Yeah, like okay. climb the gates with a guy. With that security guard you passed? She yeah. Is wow. <laughs> she is fun. I know. Yeah. Never have I ever stolen something higher than with a higher value than $10. I've never. I'm a good girl. No? Yeah. <gasps> have you? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, it's, uh, in high school, 
uh, friends and I, I can't believe I'm saying this, <laughs> would uh, go to the mall and steal clothes. Really? Yeah. Steal clothes. This is before, I'm old. This is before <laughs> okay. they even had those sensors on there. So, you know, <laughs> believe security me. does. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah, like they trusted people, people back then. People were much more trusty. Yeah. You know, you'd get back in the horse and wagon and go home. Right. You know, so it was a long okay. time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Never have I ever made a prank call. Oh, I have. I have. A prank call? Called and pretended to be someone else? I think it's to her, daily. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. Never have I ever laughed so hard that you've peed yourself. I have. Oh, really? Like, no, I have not. Yeah. No. She I've calls me. She calls me, te- stays up she calls me Tina because I need Tina ladies because I work myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, I think it's more of a girl thing. Yeah. Yeah. Boys don't, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Never have I ever stolen money from my father's wallet. I have never, because no, he never I've has never. any. No, never. Dad. Never my mother's I... purse. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? It's different, yeah. But that's not parents. what you ask. Parents. parents. That's to be Never expected. have I ever parents. Well, yeah, I feel bad about this very day. <laughs> okay. Not oh. going it's to be expected. Never have I ever woken up in a strange place not knowing how I got there. Really? Yeah. I Is that frightening? Never. Oh, only for a few seconds. And then it's just guilt and remorse and you want to chew your arm off oh, to get out of there. Walk a shame. Have you? I have never. What? What? I don't believe it. In woken up in a strange place. Yeah. yeah. Not know how you no, got No, I bring them back to my flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you've woken up with a strange person. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. Never have ever hit a parked car and didn't leave a note. I have. Oh. I have I've never. never. Really? I have. <gasps> Bad? Yeah, I have. And it was a white Mercedes in Vaucluse. And oh. I said, but if you have enough money to buy a Mercedes... No. How no. bad did you hit it? Do you know what? I sideswiped it. <gasps> oh. Oh. You're going to get busted. I own a Mercedes and a BMW and you know, somebody did that to me. I think it was yours because it yeah. said Tambam. <laughs> yeah. Was that yours? No. Tambam? <laughs> Wow. Somebody did Do that you know to my, my BMW. But it had so bad scratches it. on it? No, it, no, it was sniped. Do you, you know, know that they, did, if they watch know, this show, they're going to know now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but how many, yeah. Mm. Okay, we can do the edit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> never have I ever used someone's toothbrush and didn't tell them. Oh, God. Oh, never. No. Never. <laughs> she has. She we, has. Yeah. But it's like a partner. It doesn't matter anyone's toothbrush. Why would you stick that in your mouth? <laughs> well, if other it's a partner. Do you know sorry. what? Pete won't even eat off my cutlery. Really? That's how fussy he is. He will, yeah. if, if I've left meal on the plate and he wants to eat it, he'll take my cutlery and put it away and take my, like he will wow. not eat off my cutlery. So can you imagine if you no. use And I'm yeah, like, I but have. I kiss you. I like, have. what's the difference? Yeah. yeah. I have, yep. Yeah. Oof. He's weird. Yeah. Anyway, never have I ever received a booty call. Oh, please. Is there any other kind of call? Never? Never. I live under oh, a rock. I, okay. I've been married. I've known Pete since I'm 19, you see, so I'm a bit I sheltered. Have. Yeah. I have never. Really? Yeah, no, like, I have. You have? Oh, my I God. If the phone rings at 11 or 12, even to get a text, that's what it's about. Hey, what you doing? Come over. That's my response. <laughs> Anything after 10 o'clock is a booty call. Yeah. But I have, and I have called... People myself, it goes both ways. Like partner, are you talking like not your partner, but like people? Yeah. Like people. You just want to go and Humans. randomly yeah. have sex with somebody. Yeah. yeah. DTF. Yeah. What's DTF? Are you down to fuck? <laughs> oh, no, I didn't even know that. What? DTF? What? Netflix. Am I the only one? Yeah. Can't. I don't believe no, you. I, no, 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 I, I have. No, you. I booty oh. call, no God, problem. Okay, but no, I've never, but I didn't know what DTF meant. Yeah, man. well, now you do. Yeah, I'm going to start you, using it. Yeah, DTF. Oh, God. Wow. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining oh. us on the oh, show. Oh, that's, that's it? That's it. I'm leaving it on that note. DTF. So are you. Okay, there we go. What is it? WTF. Let's go. Yeah, WTF. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. Cheers to you. Happy weekend. Crazy. <laughs> 